I am so rarely blessed to be able to talk to the star of a film and someone who helped actually write the film. Mm -hmm. So I'm so excited to talk to you guys about A Monster Calls. Thank you. I do have to tell you, I embarrassingly like wept like a little <laughs> child when I saw the film. It's really, really, really emotional. How did you feel when you saw it all come together? Oh God, I mean, I, as emotional as you, I always think uh, if you're writing something and you're not feeling what you want a reader or an audience to feel, then it's a cheat. Because, I mean, how arrogant it is to ask people to be moved if I haven't. So I always keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And then I got to see something that came out of my brain up on screen in those beautiful images that Bayona has made. Um, yeah, I cry too. I mean, it sounds terribly self-indulgent, but I cry too. Is it so weird for you to hear that people look at you and you're like, you made me cry! <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I saw it, I was... I, I would say I was a little emotional, but not just from like the story of the film, but also like... I suppose like pride of what like everybody who yeah. works in the film has actually like accomplished. So it was great to see it. <laughs> what was filming like for you? I mean, the bulk of this film is really on your shoulders. That's a that's a lot to do. So how yeah. was actual filming? Yeah, I mean, it was it was like nonstop, pretty much. I mean, I actually think it's almost harder for somebody a child actor because well, where an adult actor can like take a break like between like being on set or whatever, I have to go to and do like maths or something, you know what I mean, so. <laughs> They're gonna say we didn't allow you to take breaks. Yes we did, yes we did. Yeah. No, no, I did, I did get some breaks, so. <laughs> so did you dread having to sort of do your schoolwork doing, during all of this? No, I, I did it, but you know. I'm sure you could have bribed <laughs> someone on set, a PA to come in and sort of do your math for you. Like he looks so guilty now, he's like, I did. As, as, we cost, as we cost him a year of his schooling. He said, no, no, it's all fine. A lot of your scenes are with a tree. Yeah. What is that actually like to film? Uh, Walk me through the process of a day filming with a monster. Well, you know, some of the time it was, you know, literally to like a, a tennis ball on the end of a pole, but what they did actually make was they made the monster's face. Like they made a realistic, it was like, like totally realistic uh, monster's face that had like hydraulics and all sort of mechanics in it that made the mouth move and everything and like made its like eyes light up. And so that was really helpful to be honest, rather than just acting to Nothing. <laughs> Helpful slash haunts your dreams afterwards. Yeah, the monster is, the visual of the monster is really everything for a film like this. How did you feel about bringing it to life? The book is illustrated, there's an illustrated version of the book by a great illustrator called Jim Kay, who is, I always say this, the nicest man in the whole wide world. You'd absolutely love him. Uh, and that was an amazing experience because I'd never had an illustrated book before and it was just proof of how much someone with that kind of talent can bring can add to the story and together they make a part greater than the whole. And so for the film, Bayona and the uh, designer, Eugenio Caballero, we even talk about this, that they went on a sort of search to find a visual for the monster and they kept coming back to the book. And so it felt like a natural step up to bring him to animate him and this is sort of Jim's vision, which was based on my text, which was based on Siobhan Dodd's original idea. So it, it feels so naturally collaborative to come up with this massive, massive uh, tree embodied by Liam Neeson, which is sort of the final icing on the cake. So, uh, yeah, why not Why not shoot the moon? How many chances did you get to make a movie? How many chances did you get to make a write a book? So why not Why not really go for it? Did you ever actually get to work face-to-face -face with Liam? Or was how did that actually well, go down? Yeah, I mean, as he, as Patrick said, like, um, like um, the monster is embodied by Liam. And the thing is, we did, like, two weeks of motion capture. So, like, the monster's movements are similar to Liam's because that was Liam's movements, you know, so the monster walks like Liam Neeson does, you know what I mean? So we did two weeks um, of that where I was with him, you know, doing the, like, running lines with him and stuff like that, so it was, it was really nice and it was great to, to get an opportunity to actually work with him. How did you feel the first time you saw Connor kind of come to life, be Connor? Um, we, there was a lengthy sort of videotape audition process and we just kept zeroing back in on those over and over and over again and to because I thought how how are we going to find somebody young who can handle all this stuff because that's there's a worry there that there's a lot of emotional stuff is on screen every scene how are we going to find somebody a good enough actor and sort of mature enough the right age to do it and so Lewis just kept getting it right getting it right getting it right getting it right crying at the right time you know really really bringing it to life at, and so I mean, thrilled, but also I feel so lucky. Are you kidding? I mean, how, that, 
that was that it feels like winning the lottery. Um, it's funny. Yeah. It's easy to forget that. I mean, if you obviously don't forget that you're a child actor because <laughs> you on screen carry the weight that veteran actors probably wouldn't be able to handle. But and, and the and the might of that is really intense. But I have to imagine this had to be pretty fun for you. There were a couple scenes yeah. where you got to be super destructive. Yeah, I think yeah. it's like every little kid's dream to just break stuff. <laughs> How much fun was that? It was it was great fun. I mean, like there's like multiple times where I get to like like pick up a stick and like smash a window <laughs> and stuff like that and like it, it was it was just awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you very much for for writing that in. Before we wrap up here, how was working with Felicity? I mean, you guys had some really, really intense moments. Mm -hmm. Well, Felicity was, well, she was nothing but nice to me. And what I, what I really um, respect about her and everybody else who was in the film is that they treated me like I was like an equal to, to them. Obviously, I'm not like patronized me because I, I was a kid or anything like that. But they, they treat me as, as their equal, and I, and I learned a lot from, from them just by being around them and working, and working with them. It was really incredible, I mean, creating these characters and you just, you brought a, a lot to it. And I think I'm very excited to see how everyone feels about the film and very excited to see where you go in your career. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.